Good evening, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the partially mask-wearing militant state of Michigan. A little bit of snow over the last couple days, maybe four inches, but it's a really nasty, wet, slushy snow. So, pain in the ass to shovel, pain in the ass to drive through. But let's move on. When I heard people talk about they're coming for your guns, I, I, I don't know. It was, to me, it was instant turn off. They were just trying to be hyperbolic, full stop. And I felt that way. I felt that way until today. You see, last night in the dictator's communist manifesto to the state of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer talked about stricter gun laws. And she was talking about background checks and red flag laws, which we already have. So... It was hard to really understand where she was coming from. I thought she was talking about maybe gun shows, where if you want to buy a gun, you you maybe have to go, um, I'll just say to the Secretary of State. Usually, you know, in Michigan, I'm sure it's like this all over the country. If you went into Myers to buy a gun, they run a background check on you, Dick Sporting Goods and whatnot. They run a background check on you. So I was thinking that somewhere along the line, a background check was going to be implemented for gun shows. I'm not sure what they would do about private sales. But gun shows, they would they would do it, and that's what I thought. And but she was talking about, well, hey, we're 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 not going to take the guns away from the good people, you know, like the hunters, you know. We're, somehow the the criminals are going to show up and and going to try to you know buy a buy a legal gun, and then we're going to catch them. We're going to catch those rat bastards red-handed. Right there in the sporting goods department of Myers. Yep, we got you now. And then, of course, it was the uh, people that uh, a uh, clear and present danger to themselves or others. Which, boy, oh boy, I can see that working out real well for some uh, good guy that's going through a nasty divorce and then the wife tells her attorney, oh, you know, he's he's got guns in the house. He's a gun enthusiast. And then the next thing you know, he's got SWAT teams knocking down his door or his apartment door because he was kicked out of the house and uh, they're coming after him and his guns. Because he's a clear and present danger. Now that may turn out to be... That may eventually turn out to be. But it's only... Remember, it's only it's only the bad people. It's not the good people that they're taking guns away from. So then I saw this. Now that Communist Manifesto was last night... This was today. It was an email that I get. I get sent uh, press releases from uh, the dictator's office and uh, Sleestack Nessel, the attorney general. She has filed an amicus brief for the in support of a state of New York 
suit filed in New York to ban people from taking guns into churches. Because I guess nobody good goes to churches. And I forgot to mention, I think it was yesterday, Kamala was, uh, she was at that shooting in California. I think it was a uh, migrant worker who shot a, a family. And she was asking for more gun controls. I guess I should have said, I was reading a, uh, a little report on the Communist Manifesto that dictator Whitmer had, had given. And they were talking about how this was sort of like a presidential speech, almost like running for office. So that's what sort of got me thinking when I saw the article about Kamala Harris and her quotes. Well, then I get that email. I notice in my email, I get from uh, Attorney General Nessel. And then here's what this uh Here's what this uh, attorney general did. She filed an amicus brief in support in support of banning guns in churches in the state of New York. Now, was it that far away to assume that she wouldn't she wouldn't support that in the state of Michigan? Now, if you're thinking this is sort of like a a thing between Michigan and New York no 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 you'd be wrong no so here's a list of the other states that filed amicus briefs as well so it's it's all the usual suspects you got Hawaii in there you have California in there uh, Illinois of course keep all the guns on old block but take them out of the church Take them out of the church, leave them all on old block. Uh, Delaware, a couple other ones, you can read them. But this really is the first time. Uh, the first time that someone had said they're coming after your guns. And I actually believe them. But don't worry, you know, good people out there and just the sports enthusiasts and the hunters they're, they're not coming after yours now I guess unless you go to church here's a, here's a little article from uh, what happens when uh, people take guns to church uh, the shooter gets killed and if you want to look this up there, there actually is a video of this of the entire shooting where this guy gets up it looks like he's got a shotgun I can't really tell, but he uh, he shoots two people. He's immediately gunned down, and as the guy is walking over to him to see if he's down, there's like three or four other people that got their pistols out pointed at the guy. So uh, we found a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, bad people in church. I also think about that guy that... Uh, was live streaming the guy that wore all the jewelry the minister where he got robbed live while he was live streaming his service wonder what had happened if a couple people in there uh, were packing heat but it really is true it really is true I hate to admit that I was wrong on this I hate to admit it but it's true. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.